Hello there. I believe you are blessed wherever you are. Right. I would love to say blessed week in advance. I know this is, it is Sunday. Tomorrow it will be Monday. I'm saying blessed week in advance. We are in a table conference. Our theme today, we are talking about the prophecies of Kenya. What God said to Kenya. Unfortunately, we failed to find the prophecy number one. Uh, because of um, we failed to find prophecy number one because of uh, 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 the sound is there, but the sound it was we shot it using phone uh, through it was Corona by that time uh, when Kenya was going to elections. When I say I saw a man uh, wearing a, a new man wearing a, 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 a blue suit, uh, I believe many people they were thinking that uh, that uh, Odinga was gonna win and become a president become the, uh, the, he succeed the, 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 the former president. But uh, in that prophecy, I made it very clear that I saw a new man, meaning that it wasn't him who was going to uh, um, uh, um, uh, win. So that prophecy, we cannot play it now because we used the phone to shoot it. But these ones that we're having too, I believe they will make sense because why we play prophecies, we'll be trying to make people to understand where we are coming from and what God has been saying in people's lives. Right, I believe you are watching what is happening in Kenya. You are seeing what is happening in Kenya. You are seeing the wars. Uh, since elections, you, you are seeing the wars uh, that has been happening in Kenya. Uh, even now, people, they are still fight, uh, uh, taking on the street, fighting one another. What is wrong? That's the question that we are supposed to ask ourselves. What is wrong? What is happening in Kenya? The vision that I saw two, two to three weeks ago, God gave me these uh, two, uh, uh, two people, Odinga and the, uh, the current president. I would love to say to Kenya as a prophet of God, you are having a good uh, president. You are having a good uh, president. It's all up to you what you do. I know people, what is good is wrong and what is right is good. So I, I, I will advise uh, Kenya uh, people not to do mistakes that I have seen uh, happening to other uh, uh, places. People will love wrong instead of loving the right thing. I will say to Kenya people, you are having the good president. The man is a God-fearing, is a Christian. He didn't rig election, as they say. The man he won free and fair. But because he wasn't the favorite of people, people, they were not expecting him to win. They were expecting Odinga to win. They were expecting Odinga to take over. That, that, that was the wish, the, 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 the wish of people, but not the will of God. So at the end, the will of God uh, prevailed. Prevailed. We see Odinga what he's doing now. I want to talk about what is wrong in Kenya. There is nothing wrong in Kenya. Uh, in these videos that we are going to prophesies, we are going to play now. You are going to understand that there is nothing that is wrong in Kenya. There is only one individual who is wrong. If you hear that vision, you see he end up uh, entering an, on a sewage walking on a sewage while he's, we were trying to show him the way. So the problem in Kenya, it is not people. The problem is the opposition leader, Odinga. Odinga is a problem. And if Kenya, his supporters, they continue uh, 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 doing whatever they are doing, they are going to set, set that country on, fa on fire. What will happen? People, they are going to end up killing one another. So I want us to go to the prophecies that God is saying. And we check again what is happening in Kenya. You are having a, a, a good president. I, I, don't, I don't think that Kenya people, they see that. You are having a good president. You are having a, a best president. He's a good guy. But because he wasn't the candidate that they were expecting that he can rule, that's where the problem starts. 
I will warn Kenya people. If you allow Odinga, the old man Odinga, to take power, he is going to finish that Kenya. There will be no country after his first term, whatever. Why? Because he is violent. One. Second, he thinks that he can lead. But God's anointing, remember leadership comes from God. God is the one who chooses presidents and kings. So at the end, Odinga doesn't have that. So meaning that if he forced, that's why he forced, uh, I was uh, checking their history. He has been contesting and contesting and contesting, defeated and defeated and defeated. Meaning that that thing of leadership, that's not his. But now, there is a possibility that the way he does things, as he did the last term of uh, Kenyatta, uh, the, the, this one, a uh, former president, that they made noise, he ended up uh, ordaining himself as a president in a park. They end up sitting down, they talk. So uh, those are the things that uh, 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 those who are supporting him, they need to sit down and ask themselves, are we going to have country after this? Or are we going to uh, uh, finish ourselves? Politics can finish the country. Politics can uh, finish everything. The, the problem of Kenya is Odinga, as God said in this vision. That is a problem. He doesn't, want, he doesn't have a spirit of submission. And God is saying, as long as he doesn't have a spirit of submission again, he doesn't have qualities of leadership. Because if you are a leader, you have to listen. If you are a leader, you have to listen. After listening, you have to understand again uh, other people's views, why they are doing things the way you think that they are not supposed to do, do, to, 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 to do the, the, the things that way. The issue about Odinga is the problem of Kenya. You will set that country on fire. My prayer is they must, they must block him not to go to the office. The situation of Kenya is the situation of America. God approved Trump 2015. Now he's disapproving Trump. What is wrong with Donald Trump? If Donald Trump enters on fire, on, 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 in office now, everyone is going to jump. Even innocent people, they are going to feel because it's pushed by anger and a lot of things. So the Holy Spirit doesn't function proper where there is a trouble heart, where there is confusion. So I'm saying to Kenya people, don't do the mistake by trying to put Ogdinga on the what? On the, in the office. He will finish that country. He will finish the country. He is not ordained to be a leader. I was talking to someone at night. I said, remember Morgan in Zim. I told people 2010, he is not going to rule that country. He likes it or not. But people, they were saying, he is quartered to win. I said, he will remain quartered. He will never reach there. And it happened, he died not entering the office. Right now, in this, video, in this uh, prophecy, it is a vision that goes three minutes. I need you to listen to it very careful. And you hear what God said about Odinga. And you hear how God he brought them to me. How God he made us to walk on the street. He was challenging. He wanted to be the one who's putting orders. When we, are, when we got lost there again, he's the one again who ended up giving up and saying he'll find his own way. He entered on a, 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 a place where there were trees. There was a big switch in uh, front of them. Then God said to me, you must warn Kenya people. This man, if they allow him to rule their country, he will demolish everything. Why? Because he doesn't have uh, qualities of leadership. The problem about African countries liberation struggle people people who fought for the country to come back they think that the country owns them but the thing that uh, that the thing that is funny
They didn't fight alone. There were thousands and thousands of people who fought. But when they are in power now, they want to behave like it. It was only them carrying guns uh, versus uh, uh, white people. Uh, them, four of them versus white people. Which, which, which is a wrong thing. I don't know why you are chop chop there. So th 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 that's, that's the thing that we are supposed to, to, to sorry about that, to, 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 to pray about in Africa. All countries that are having people who, who are called liberation, what? All veterans. There was problem. It's problem after problem. Because they think that they fought to take the, the, that country or the, the country is owing them. That's the thing that is happening. So I want to take you to this uh, video. We hear what God said about uh, uh, Odinga. They call him Odinga. Huh? He's an angry old man. Very angry old man and very dangerous man. If they allow him to rule Kenya, Kenya will be destroyed. He's an angry old man. He contested and contested. And contested. God, has still, God has been rejecting him. A few years ago, I was going down on his history. I saw this man, he ended up making himself a president while there was a president until they say, let's come, let's make peace. So he's creating the same drama again now. So if they allow him to continue to do that, Kenya, Kenya people, because if the supporters, they withdraw their support, he cannot go outside on the street alone. What makes him to be like that is because they are supporters. Elections were not rigged, as they say in Kenya. They wanted elections to favor him. That was the only thing. God said, no, 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 there's nothing that was rigged. They wanted elections to favor him because even the president, the former president, he wanted him to enter to the office. Unfortunately, God at the end is the one who wins. Why? Because God knows what is good for people and God knows what is good for the country. All right. Hello there. I believe you are blessed wherever you are. All right. I would love to say bless the week in advance. Blessed we get in advance all over the world, regardless of the color of the skin type or nation. Right, I would love to say, pray. I know the world is still facing a lot of challenges. Right, I would love to go straight to the point. Uh, I saw what is happening in Kenya until God is saying something to me in the morning. God is saying, I must warn you. The government of, of Kenya. Don't set Kenya on fire. God said, I must warn them. Don't set Kenya on fire. God said, they have to listen. What, if, what makes people fume like this? What makes this project and to be projects like this on the street? Failure to do so. Many people, many people, they will lose their lives. And a lot of property will be burned. And a lot of property will be vandalized. A lot of innocent people, they will lose. So God say, I must warn the government of Kenya and say to the opposition, regardless of whatever your differences, there is still a peaceful way of solving whatever is happening on Kenya. But God said, I warn them that if they allow this a protest to prolong, they don't uh, go to a dialogue or enter to a dialogue whereby they solve their situation. Kenya will be on fire. God said, I warn them, don't send Kenya on fire. They have to come to the tent whereby they find a peaceful a, a, a solution to this. If they allow this uh, protest to prolong, they will set their own country on fire. God said, we pray for Kenya. In the Christian world in Kenya, pray for your country. 
that they who not that they who to succeed in what he wants to do in your country. So I'm saying, pray for Kenya. We pray for you wherever you are. I'm saying to you, remember Jesus. So do I. All right. Uh, this one was the. Can you go to the up prophets again? Right. You you stand there. You are gonna play that one. Right. I I, I will come here. This one was the second prophet before the vision, where they were people in Kenya. They were burning things, fighting one another. That's why God is say they have to find a peaceful way of solving what is what was happening. The issue of fighting one another, they are not gonna find a, a, a solution. It's not a solution. Here God was saying to them, they have to find a peaceful way of solving what was happening in Kenya. If you check now what is happening in Kenya, it's what uh, happened in Kenya again the last, uh, first, the, sec the last elections when Odinga was contesting with the, uh, Kenyatta, Uri Kenyatta. He refused. They took on the street. He did whatever he's doing. What he's doing now, that's what he's doing. But the difference now, there is no relationship between him and the current president. When I was checking, he was having a relationship with the former president. That's why the former president wanted him to succeed him. So it was better, he was, he was opposing, but in a peaceful what? In a peaceful, because they were friends. But now the, the problem is, they don't have a relationship with this one. That's why God said they, they have to uh, sit down and the opposition, have a, a dialogue one with the other, how to solve what is happening in Kenya. But the thing that will happen in Kenya, those st st uh, strikes that you are seeing, violence, right, they are not going to end. That president will be in problem after problem, problem after problem, problem. It's like, it's like a, 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 you are a president who took a power by what? By force. While he didn't take power by force, he is not the right candidate that they wanted him, they wanted to what? To win. But God is having his own way to protect his people. If Odinga took a, a power, a lot was going to happen though. I saw he's an old man. He's very old. I believe he's above 75 now. In these five years coming, he will be 80. I don't think he, he can be contesting. It. But don't, don't doubt the pre presidents, especially in Africa. 80, you are still young. Remember the president of uh, it's Guinea or whatever. That one that they just take him. They, they say you're going to meeting. They put him on a coach. I believe he's 90 years or so. <laughs> Uh, they put him on a coach only to be there present only. But when you ask yourself, how did you win elections, this man? He didn't win elections, that man. That man, it's a picture only. Remember Mgabi. If Zanu didn't remove Mgabi, Mgabi was going to die there. If they, they didn't get tired of protecting him, Mgabi was going to die there. Uh, uh, remember the wife used to say, I'll put him uh, with you, will you will see. Mgabe will rule until he goes with the wheelchair, you will see. So, 80 years, uh, you may find that Odinga, he will be 85, 82, uh, 82, 80, 81, 82. You will say, I will contest again. So, pre uh, uh, this African politics, they, they are not afraid to die in office. But here God was saying, find a peaceful way of solving your what? Your issues. Meaning dialogue. Then after that, that's when I saw this vision that we are going to play. God, he brought them together to me. He said, I want to explain what is the problem about Kenya. The problem about Kenya is not people. It's this man. He's having a rebellious spirit. He's the one who's causing all this chaos. He wants to be seen like maybe he was robbed, maybe he was whatever. He's causing all this. What is in his intention? His intention, he wants to make a Kenya not to be governable. 
For five years, there will be stories after stories, stories after stories. So that when elections, they come now, you'll say, no, I'm the best candidate who can rule the country. What? Bet. Forgetting that he's in opposition, there might be, God can raise someone who's like him again a, 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 a next election. He enters in power, they give him same stress again. So that's the problem. All right. I need us to play this, uh, uh, Prophet. Let's play this one. I need you to hear this one. We are waiting for you to play, okay? There is no volume now. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We are gonna. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I believe you are blessed wherever you are. I would love to say bless you week in advance. All over the world, regardless of the color of the skin, tribe, or nation. And I would love to say, continue praying. I know the world is still facing a lot of problems. Jesus is the answer. And I would love to go straight to the point of what I saw in the morning about Kenya. God will move into Kenya. And then on the street of Kenya, the capital city, they go in front of the current president and the opposition party leader of Kenya. They go immediately to walk with them on the street. We were facing that issue. We started walking. On our walk, we were supposed to turn somewhere we do shortcut and go where we were supposed to go. But on our way, there was a struggle. Odinga wanted to give direction, wanted to behave. Until we took another path, we get to a good road. We found ourselves in buildings that we uh, demolished, the others we were still standing. And then, when we discovered that we were lost, we now won the current president of China and said, OK, we can use the phone. GPS to see where we are going, but our thing about the station is now. So he started taking a path uh, where the uh, demolished building. There was there was later there was a bush there, a small bush. When he was entering on that bush, uh, he started entering uh, 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 inside water. Uh, 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 when he was going through, I saw a big dead dead water mixed with a uh, sewage. Then the Lord said to me, I will explain what you are seeing. You see the character that you are seeing, or the, 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 the struggle that you see uh, 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 doing when uh, you are uh, 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 walking on the street. He said, that's the thing that you have in Kenya. Kenya is here. Kenya people, they are not going to have peace for this, uh, that all the time of this uh, 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 president, Odinga uh, will continue uh, becoming a problem. Uh, the apart will continue uh, doing this. Uh, there will be lots of chaos. Right, I believe here I'm, say, I'm saying in a vision when, when God was explaining, when he entered in uh, on a, a sewage there. God is a, that's his character. He's suffering from a, a bad character. And Kenya people, they are not going to have problems. They are not going to have peace when you listen here. He's going to cause a problem for five years. And if they are not wiser, they continue supporting him. They are going to destroy their own country. Because no one will go there normally even an investor to go and invest in that country whereby they are fighting every day or they are quarreling every day. So at the end, he is doing that for uh, his own uh, uh, interest, not for the country. Right? When you hear there when we're working together, when as long as that man is alive and his supporters, they still behave the way they behave, Kenya, there will be no peace in Kenya. He wants to lead. 
And he doesn't care that does God agrees or God doesn't agree. You know, every president, when you enter in power, God must agree. God must agree with you to, to be on power, in power. I, I remember when I was talking about uh, 2018, when in Zim they were saying opposition is winning. I came out, I, I said, that, that man who ruled the country. I said, this one who's ruling, I said, he will rule. You will never change God's will. It is God's will for this man to rule. And then you have to, you have to pray to God. He's giving you five years to pray. That after five years, uh, something must what? Must change if you need change. But them, they thought that if, since Mugabe went out, they can just grab it. And it was impossible. That's a mind of a man. God wasn't going to allow that. Because a lot of people, they were going to die. That, those armies and the, uh, those generals, they were not going to allow just a new person to just come and take it like that. They were supposed to first get used that Mugabe is no longer in, what? in power and start seeing reality. They were not going to see reality. They were going to take guns and start shooting people. So Odinga is a problem. Is that one sleeping there. Odinga is a problem. A big one. If Kenya doesn't, uh, 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 Kenya people, they don't uh, 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 listen to what God is saying. They support Odin. They have, they have a four to five years, four and a half years here in hell. This Odin will always be on the street. Coming with this, coming with that, coming with this, coming in that. So that he confuses the government that will be used. So the only way that Kenya people, they can... He will never go to the dialogue. I don't think he's ready for that because he needs power. Regardless, he's old. You know, if you reach a 75, 8, I don't think you need power. Power for what? Go home and take care of chickens and sleep. But these, these presidents, they don't do that. They want to be being called the honorable. Yes, honorable and uh, play, planes for free going uh, wherever. I was reading a small title uh, a few, few days ago that um, Gabi's daughter, Bona, they call her Bona, she's divorcing. She's having more than 25 properties in Dubai. Then I say, it's obvious. If your father ruled for all this, Dubai is yours. I even loved when I was Dubai is, they just wrote 25, it's more than that. But in, in people's eyes in Zim, they say she failed to finish it. Her house, ah, that's a story, that one. You see why they don't want to step down. They think for their kids, and the kids for their kids, that they mustn't even test the suffering. Forgetting that they didn't fight alone wherever they were fighting. They didn't fight alone, these people. They fought with other, what? Other people. But then when they come, they want to behave like, no, we fought alone on the bushes. What about the grandfathers and grandmother, the grandmothers of other people who, who died on the, on, the, on, the, on the war? What are they benefiting? So Odinga is going to be a problem in Kenya. They like it or not, it's going to be a problem. Only God can uh, make, uh, eliminate Odinga. If he can uh, eliminate Odinga, then there will be peace. I believe in his age now, he was supposed to surrender that party. His, the leadership of his party to a, a young star, huh? and say, take over. They don't do that. Huh? Look, 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 look all parliaments in Africa. Look how old they are, and tummies and the grayish head, they'll be sleeping there. Those people, they are no longer doing it for themselves. They are doing it for their kids. I'm telling you about it, that uh, um, Gavis, uh, girl born. They say she's BBC. BBC doesn't lie. Those are British. When they come with the story, they've uh, go, gone deeper. They say she's owning more than 25 apartments in Dubai. As young as she is. Did she work anywhere? Did she get pension anywhere? No. The answer you know. Huh? So that's the, that's the thing that Odinga, or people like Odinga, they continue fighting. If they allow people like Odinga to rule, 
Then Kenya will, will enter and take a wrong path. Right, let's play here. Let's continue and hear what God, what God was saying. Then say again, you saw when you were standing entering on the stage and taking the, the push and uh, 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 small entering on the push, uh, uh, small push uh, entering in water uh, with sway. That's what his leadership will do if Kenya people, they agree, they agree what he will do beyond power. A lot of things in that country will be demolished, especially economy and other things. Paul is not going to lead this country in a, in a right path. He will lead this country to the wrong path. That will demolish a lot of, a lot, a lot of, a, 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 a lot of things in that country. Let God tell us what people of Kenya that you pray, you pray, you pray for your country. You are not going to have peace. Uh, this uh, current president is not going to have this or, or dinner or the opposition party will continue doing this after this until the day may If they do that, if they say what you, that's where they are going to see what will happen in the country. It doesn't mean when you afford, it does not what it say. Say if you afford, it doesn't mean that I have chosen you to be a, 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 a leader, leadership. It is God who nominates the leader and protects them to the good people. I'm saying in Kenya before you hear this, let down and pray for your beautiful nation. I'm saying to you, remember just that. So your eyes may God bless you. All right. All right. Uh, I, I believe these are the uh, two uh, videos uh, that uh, we find. Here God was saying to, to Kenya people, they pray. The issue that will happen now in Kenya, Odinga will continue becoming a problem. No matter how they try. If that president becomes a fool and think that he will make a peace with Odinga, they are not going to make peace. Because he knows what he's up to. Few years ago, he ordained himself in a stadium to be a president. While there was another president, until they say, hey, come, let's talk. So he needs that. He needs that. But because this one, they are not a brothers as friends, they are going to have a problem. If the problem that we face in Africa, we destroy our own countries. That's why you find white people, they don't respect us. Why other tribes, white, Chinese, and whatever, they don't respect us? It's how we lead. Then you hear people say, why prophets, they are prophesying about politics? Ah, you are not leading chickens, you are leading people. Those people belong to God. So God is having say to those people whom you are leading. Because you, you entered through what God he created those people. You, you are a president through votes, but God, he owns those people. They belong to God. So God won't allow them to be abused. So I will say to Kenya people, pray. You put your country in, in prayers. And you make sure that uh, you pray for a dinner. Uh, 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 not to have strength in, in five years coming. Otherwise, you are going to have a problem of an old man, a crazy old man that will be on the street with a, a, a stick, still commanding people that you must put me in office. But when he enters in office, you hear what God is saying here. He say, he will demolish Kenya. Why? He will change a lot of things. And believe me, if they put him, he will be 80-something. 80-something people, 80-something year old people, they don't think straight. Meaning that a lot of wrong decisions will be made and a lot of things will go wrong. So I'm saying to you, if you're in Kenya, kneel down and pray. He, these are the uh, prophecies, but there are four. We played only two. If you go again to YouTube, you go down, you'll see other prophecies. I'm saying to you, pray for your country. You pray for God's intervention. It's only God who can bring that man down. How God knows he's old, he is having, he's having his own way to bring him down. Before he becomes a problem, but he's going to be a problem for now. For these five years, he's going to be a problem. Because to, to him, he was, elections were rigged. To him, elections were rigged, and he was rigged. He, still, he, is a, he was supposed to be a president. Why is he saying that? Because he thinks that he can rule better. It's God who put kings and kings. It's God who ordained you to be a president. Remember the Zambian president who was the current president. That man, they put him in prison. They were beating him. They abused him. 
But because God he ordained him that he will rule, he gave me one. So they pray, Kenya, you are having a best president that you are having. I don't know his name. His name is, is Ruto or whatever. He is a God-fearing somebody. He's a Christian. He's someone who knows what he's doing. Just support your president. You will see your country will be fine. I'm saying to you, wherever you are, don't forget to share this video. And remember again, to jo uh, don't forget to join us again in other table conference. Continue following us on YouTube, on Twitter. You follow us on Facebook, on, on TikTok. You follow us there. I'm saying to you, remember Jesus loves you. So do I. May God bless you.